Hello, it's Mindless Insanity 602 reporting to you with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to give you the recap of my 31 days of horror film reviews. I recorded one this video last night, uh, well, like last night, but I decided that there was a few things that I thought of in my head that I completely um, forgot to um, discuss in that um, video. So here we are, giving you my third annual 31 Days of Horror Film Reviews recap. And this is just, you know, telling you everything in total, you know, basically giving you guys an epilogue. I give you my prologue September 20th, September 30th. Now the epilogue is November 1st. Anyways, the this was a pretty good year, in all honesty. This is pretty good, um, this is, this was a good month. I attempted to watch as many horror films as I can, and I got a total of 225 films that I consider non-rewatches, because the last three days, I've been re-watching stuff, because I felt like it. I've been re-watching the Halloween franchise. Technically, I'm on a Halloween 2. I decided to marathon the whole Halloween franchise on the day of Halloween. But, um... And yeah, fortunately, I had to switch over to this day, whatever. Anyways, does this year's um, selection beat um, last year's selection on a channel that um, I unfortunately um, lost the login information to um, use that account? for these and um, I unfortunately lost the information to access that account so I have this one which I could probably get stick with stick with and you know hopefully it'll be fresh and you know not become a cluttered mess as my other channels were anyways anyways let's first talk about the films I give you a brave feeling of every film that I reviewed this year. And please, please watch the videos. Just watch the videos. And, you know, just watch each one of the 31 reviews that I did do. Re or just watch them. Do not rely on this video for the opinions. Watch them for more thorough um, opinions on the films. Anyways, the first film that I reviewed on season three was Ravenous, which was a 1999 film, and I enjoyed Ravenous. I suggest you check out Ravenous. <clears throat> it, it, that one is, it has a strong recommend on my behalf. I recommend the hell out of that film. Cabin Fever Patient Zero, which was day two. I, in all honesty, do not recommend Cabin Fever 3 Patient Zero, or however you prefer to call it. I do not pref I do not recommend that film. I thought that film was pretty awful. So I do not suggest you check out that film. I'm pulling up the other films that I did do touch upon. Only the damn thing would fucking load. Anyways, then day four we discussed The Omen. Which, although it's not my cup of horror tea, I'm not a big fan of, you know, that kind of stub horror film where, you know, you have, like, the Antichrist and demons and all that stuff. It's cool. It's cool if you do. And that's a highly regarded film. And I do admit that it's done with a lot of class and sophistication. It's just that the plot matter is not my cup of tea. But I still admit that's a quality film. A quality film. And I recommend 
you check out. It's pretty much essential viewing for every horror film fan to watch. Day five was Mad Men, Mad Men, which was a pretty decent, a pretty decent little um, slasher flick from the early 80s, and it was pretty good. I suggest you check out that one. Day six review of I Spit on Your Grave, the 2010 remake. I do not recommend that film. I think that film was an utter, a, a, a utter disappointment. An utter, it was just a horrible film that I, in all honesty, do not recommend you check out the Ice Spit on Your Grave remake. Then you have, for day, day seven, you had Rawhead Rex, which I enjoyed for what it was. I give it a strong suggestion and I, a, 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 my utmost recommendation for the film. Then you have Tremors, which was a decent flick. I did not didn't think that was a bad film. It was decent. It was enjoyable for what it was. Then you have Tremors 2 Aftershock. I do not recommend Tremors 2 Aftershock. I think that that film wasn't very good, so whatever. Then you have for Day 10's review, which was Near Dark. I strongly suggest that film. It's way better than um, The Lost Boys. I suggest you check out Near Dark. Insidious, Day 7, um, Day 11, 7 11, funny. Um, I do not recommend Insidious. I thought that film was pretty awful. Day 12, Night of Living Dead. I, I don't really recommend that film. I thought the film was pretty bad. Um, Day 13 for Ginger Snaps was a pretty good film. I strongly suggest Ginger Snaps, the horror show. The horror show was pretty good. I liked the horror show. And for Day 14, we had a double review of the first two Scream films. Scream was... Scream is... A, I, I, I respect Scream. I respect Scream for its contributions to the horror genre. And I respect it. It's not sure it's not my kind of horror film. I like the style of that film. I like the style. I like the meta humor. But I think that's done. I know that not a lot of people are going to agree with me, but I think it's done better in like films like Halloween Resurrection. And Scream 2, it was alright. I do not hate it. It's just not my thing. Dracula 2000, which was day 15. I strongly suggest Dracula 2000. It's a fucking awesome movie. Funny Games, I suggest Funny Games, that's a good one. Hellraiser, another classic film. Night of the Creeps, Night of the Creeps had its problems. I'm not in love with it, there's quite a few things. It's just in the middle for me. Candyman, I do not like Candyman. I thought the film wasn't very good. Um, Lake Placid, another film that I did not like much. Firestarter uh, was pretty dull. Kearns was actually really good. Leprechaun, fuck Leprechaun. I do not like Leprechaun. Wicker Man, I do not suggest Wicker Man. It wasn't a very entertaining film. It didn't really, you know, attract anything to my memory banks. Sleepaway Camp, I do not like Sleepaway Camp. I think that film was utter trash, but it's cool if you do. Um, day 26 for Dreamcatcher. I love Dreamcatcher. I understand that got, it gets a big old ball of eight. But I enjoy it for what it is. Graduation Day for Day 27. That was a pretty decent one. Legion. I do not suggest Legion. The Terminator. I, I love The Terminator. The Terminator was a pretty good film. Shaun of the Dead was a good one. And Halloween 3 Season of the Witch was an absolutely fucking amazing film. So that's been my 31 days of horror film reviews. Overall, we have a pretty good and nice little even layer, which that's what I hope happens in these, um, in my, in my next group of October, because I'm going to do this, I'm going to do the watching and reviewing of a horror film every, every October in my life. So every October, I will, you know, be back, be back to do... 31 days of horror film reviews where I watch and review a horror film every day in October because it's fun I love doing it I love the horror genre it's my favorite genre of pretty much 
pretty much a, a film. I, I'm a huge film buff. I'm a huge film buff, so I like the horror genre the best. And it has, see there, you have the diversity is there. You see my from my list, you have the diversity of, you know, you have like, you have those little cheesy, you have those cheesy um, Tremors films with, you know, the Graboids and all that stuff, you know, just f funny stuff, funny stuff like that, and then you have the deep and depressing um, angle of, like, the I Spit on Your Grave remake or and, and remake and the funny games films where, you know, rape and torture and all that shit. And um, you have, like, you have interesting, like, you could you, you have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre angle of, of cannibalism, or you could have the kind of funny and kind of unique angle of, and less traveled road of, you know, tackling the cannibalism angle like Ravenous did. That's what makes the horror genre the best, in my opinion, is that it has so much diversity. It's so beautiful in its diversity. And plus, you get sequels, which I'm always up for sequels. Remakes, okay, whatever. So, yeah, um, this, this year's um, group of reviews were not planned. I just, you know... I try to be um, a little bit more random with my selection, a little bit more random and, you know, out of the blue. Many people, like, I know this one guy who does the same thing every year, but he plans his shit out in May. So I, so I probably, the next season, which will be season four, season four, um, year four, uh, or whatever you pr like to refer to it as, would probably be um, a more planned out scheduled stuff so we could see how that would do. Cause we, because we, we'll just see how that would um, exactly um, be. We'll see how that method works. We do my random stuff, which is cool. I do like it. And I, I like this selection better. Last year's selection, I just bought a twenty, uh, 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 like a five dollar DVD pack with like twenty films from like it was off of Echo Bridge, and I just used those, and that was like, and all I had to use was eleven other films. That was convenient, but that was convenient, but you know, pretty much limited limited things, and it wasn't um, the best. This year, I like it. It has a lot more diversity. You don't have to lean on the um, crappy, like, 20 film packs. I got a little bit more stuff there, um, which I like. I got at least one Asylum film. Like, I hope that, um, I, what I hope for next year is I hope that I can, you know, get one, at least one full moon. No, no. Nah. Trauma, one trauma stuff, and you know, probably tackle the Hellraiser sequels. I do not know. I'm trying to figure it out. So yeah, that's been this has been the third year that I've been doing this. I've been doing this since 2012. I think that this was better than the previous two years. Two, the first one that I did back in 2012. Um, on the other hand, was just me trying to review, trying to review. Every film, my horror film in my Blu-ray collection, um, in alphabetical order, and that's cool. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't diverse. I want diversity, and I hope that what I do with here and do here is you and I discover, I help you discover, and I discover it myself, some classic films that I haven't seen or some rare films that I think need this sh the spotlight or whatever and you know gotta get some bad films in there so anyways as long as that I'm able to do these I will be back um I don't know what else I would be doing with the channel what in the meantime but whatever anyways I won't be I'll be saying the whole reviews anyways thank you guys for enjoying this video and I'm and if you don't like them that's sorry that's fine 
shout out to Cinema Sensation. I have, to, I have like you have to hurry up. Thank you guys for watching, and it, wait for year four or five.